If you're tired of the intro animation when you open up Starfield, which is the disclaimer about epilepsy, the Bethesda logo, and stuff like that, there's a mod that fixes that. We can skip all of this entirely, even though they aren't skippable in the base game. In the description down below, you'll find a link to Cleanfield, probably one of the most popular mods for Starfield currently. On this page, simply scroll down, click the Files tab here, then make sure to click Manual Download here. You'll need to create an account and log in in order to download from this website, but when you do, you can click Slow Download, and once it's eventually done, we should be able to open it with something like 7-Zip, WinRAR, etc., and we'll have these files. What do we do with these? Well, there's a readme here that tells us what to do, so what we need to do is navigate to the Starfield Install folder and unpack the data folder. So, in Steam, I'll search for Starfield, right-click it, choose Manage, and Browse Local Files. Then, inside of here, all we need to do is merge this data file with the existing one. I'll drag it out of the RAR and into here, Replace, and now the intro file has been replaced, but it won't work properly just yet. What we need to do is then navigate to Documents, My Games, Starfield, and extract Starfield Custom.ini. So, we'll go to Documents, followed by My Games, and Starfield. Inside of here, we should be able to drag and drop this file out and into here. If you already have one then, we'll open this INI file and open our own custom configuration here as well, and we'll simply make sure to copy everything from here across into our new config file here. Save it and close it. Just like that, the intro animation should be removed from Starfield, and the next time we fire it up, it should get us in practically immediately. I've asked it to start, so we'll wait, it'll go black, and shortly after, there's my reshade popping up, you should see, press any button to start, and we're in the main menu. It's that quick. In the background, it did remove the Starfield logo here, which I'm not a huge fan of, or at least I'm pretty sure it removed one there. I might just be crazy, but anyways, we've now skipped the intro, and the game looks a lot cleaner, it starts a lot faster. Thank you all for watching, my name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!